with Trickster, I mean, this is okay, the trick plays. You can do some pretty good trick shots when people, like, hide in corners and in shack and stuff behind the god palette. But what you really need is the soda to throw faster. And then the Edge of Revival album for that splash damage. So for someone like me, who is absolutely terrible at aiming my knives, I don't really have to aim anymore with this. Because although it is only 50%, Right, if I'm shooting at their legs and I miss, they still take damage. Whereas before, if I'm just shooting, right, I'm just throwing the knives like crazy and I miss, I don't get any value from that. So it kind of rewards me for playing poorly. As well as there's some cases where it's easier to hit the wall around the survivor or the floor than it is to actually hit the survivor. Right, like if the survivor is hiding on the other side of a gen on Shaq, you can just peg the floor beside them and hopefully they panic and move. Okay, Ormond. It's not the worst map for Trickster. Alright, where do you want to go? Let's start by just walking straight across. We can break the door while we're at it. Thought I heard someone. Did he? Where the heck did he go? They're still around here. I actually might be able to get an M1 here. Just better that way, in case she goes for the window, which she didn't. She just is holding W for distance. <laughs> See, I don't have to really worry too much about her looping that, because I can always get consistent hits on each, uh, on each rotation. <laughs> Looks like there's someone way down there. But we've got Mr. Redfield up here. Ran this way. I assume he goes out the window. Yes, he did. Which we'll do that real quick. Hopefully he goes for the save and then we can just shred him apart. Yeah, Trickster is extra punishing. Uh, if you try and rescue in front of him. We know someone is healing right around the corner. <laughs> Here we go, we got our M1. Get our knives, head back to Chris, because that's probably where she's going. Oh, no, she, she ran upstairs. Probably sitting right on the god pallet. And we know because she was healing, she doesn't have DS. So we can pick her up. And that's safe. We now have two people on hook. It looks like no one on Jens, so they rescued Chris. So we'll just head back here. Someone right over there. Of course, we've got our main event coming in for us. That's unfortunate. Almost. Oh, can we get can we get the health state out? There we go, so we healed, and then we took away his healing right away, which is pretty much best case scenario. 
We've got a lot of low loops on this side, so if we keep hooking over here, we should be able to do pretty decently when they come to rescue. Okay, someone is... yeah, they were at check. That's fine. You know, the other two are on the far side. So we're just gonna grab some knives. And I imagine... Yep, yeah, here's the other one. Well, we're going to hook her right back in the same spot. 100%. It's just too powerful of a location for us not to. Now we've got all of our stacks. And that should be one hook on everybody at least. We know that they're over here. They probably put up a boon there, if I had to take a guess. Go into another main event. And she's down, and I assume someone's come one for Chris. Oh, no one went for Chris. All right, can't really see where anyone is. Pick up our knives. We'll leave one slugged. Big misplay on Michaela's part. And you see, with this add on, I can just aim at the ground. It really doesn't matter if I'm super accurate or not, because the splash damage will, will take care of things for me. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to secure that down, but it looks like they're trying to pick up. At least they were. Oh, they did. Okay, so they were healing. Up. There we go. So they've still managed to do a lot of gens in this time, and they've got their boon back up. They've got one person out, just like we needed. And they're probably on that gen way down there. But there's someone healing right here, so let's take advantage. So what she needed to do was turn this corner instead. I mean, it's a... Uh, I believe this is a three lane? No, not quite, but... Uh, that's what she needed. She needed to break line of sight to survive that. She had her boon totem up here. So let's find it. Snuff that out. Fully reload it again. You know someone was out here somewhere. Sweet, and she's in our little strong area, where there's not a lot for her. And you see, even though she's running this circle, I can still hit her in the feet with the, uh, with the AoE. So that, just that one add-on helps you so much when trying to go around tight corners. Okay, other person's over there. I assume Hatch was over there, maybe? No? We'll go into main event. Uh. 
And that's game. Shore knife tricks. And that's it. Like this uh, knife throw, uh, the speed, uh, knife speed add on, and the laceration is amazing. And that's another two pips. Let's see, do they have anything interesting? Breakable, dead hard, we'll make it. Man, if they stacked those two together, their heals would be crazy fast. This person, yeah, saboteur, bond, lithe, 